Hi guys, welcome back to Country Sports Media. Today we're going to have a look at the DXP50 and the DXP55 and what the differences are. So first of all we'll take a look at what you get in the box. As you can see as always from Pulsar you've got premium packaging which we'd expect from a world leader. So in the box you get your user guide Inside your user guide you get your warranty card, like I've said on many of these videos, staple your receipt to your warranty card, put it back inside your manual, stick it back inside the box and then you always know where your receipt is, God forbid you have any problems with your scope. You also get a quick user guide for Stream Vision 2, you get your Pulsar embossed lens cloth, you get your two bay charger, so if you buy a spare battery to go in there, whether it be APS2 or APS3, you can pop them both in there. If you choose to use the APS3 battery, you get an extended turret cap. So all you do is just pop that turret cap off and pop the extended turret cap on. It's as easy as that. Also in there, because we're here in the UK, you get a three pin charger or plug you get your rubber eye cup and personally I don't use them but many people do and then you get your charging cable come data cable so that's what you get in the box with your Pulsar Duo but not forgetting you also get your uh, case with it as well and inside your case um, you've got little separate pockets and that to keep everything in. The Thermion Duo from Pulsar is a first multispectral rifle scope to come to the market. It doesn't matter what time or day you can flick between daytime channel and thermal channel so depending on as I said the time of the day or the weather conditions there's something to suit everybody. So without further ado let's have a look at some of the specs on the two scopes. The DXP50 has a 2 to 16 daytime channel and a 2 to 16 thermal channel. The DXP55 has a 4 to 32 day channel and a 2 to 16 thermal channel. Field of view on these scopes, the DXP50 has equal field of view, 12.4 degrees, and that is between thermal and the daytime channel whereas the DXP55 has 12.4 degrees on the thermal channel but only 6.1 degrees on the daytime channel on the 4k channel that's basically because of the extra magnification the DXP50 uh, and the 55 both use the Pulsar flagship 640-480 XP sensor in there with a 17 micron pitch and 25 millikelvin so this is a really sensitive thermal sensor so this is going to pick up temperature differences in any weather conditions whether it's good or bad the thermal has the same as the uh, the flagship um, Pulsar Thermion XP50 LRF has a 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter lens with an f1.0 geranium lens this has detection range of up to 1800 meters of a man sized object. The daytime channel comes with a fantastic CMOS sensor with a 17mm lens. The CMOS sensor is 3840 by 2160, so your width and your height. The display in the back of this scope is a HD AMOLED uh, screen and that's 1024 768 which actually coincides with the resolution that these scopes both record in. Battery wise you get obviously your built in APS-5 battery and in the top turret you get an APS-2. You can swap the APS-2 battery out to use an APS-3 but that is at an extra cost that doesn't come with the scope. Battery life wise, um, with the Thermion Duo you're getting there thereabouts 5 to 5.5 hours 
If you swap it out, like I said, for the APS-3 battery in the top turret, you'll probably get a further half an hour, so that'll be pushing you up to six hours of constant usage. As with all the other Thermion scopes, this sits on 30mm rings, which I really like. It, you know, Most people have got 30mm rings knocking around. With these scopes you get five shooting profiles so you can set that up at different distances or possibly different ammunition and within your five shooting profiles you have ten reticles so there's definitely going to be something to suit everybody's eye in there. As with all the therm thermal uh, monoculars, binoculars or scopes across the pulsar range you get eight colour palettes, you get the white hot, black hot, you get red monochrome uh, and sepia as well as four or five other ones so that's really really good um, on a sort of on a on a if I've been at work during the day and I've come home and I'm sort of like a little bit tired but I need to go out either the red monochrome or the sepia really suit the eye um, as it sort of gives you um, less eye fatigue as such um, the other thing that I really like is the picture-in-picture. Picture. Again, Pulsar were the first to bring the picture-in-picture picture to the market, and this takes up a little tiny 10% at the top centre of your screen. With the Thermion Duo, it's quite clever because you've obviously got two channels. You've got your thermal channel and you've got your daytime 4K channel. But with the picture-in-picture, picture, you can take and have the main screen in thermal, and the picture in picture in um, 4K, or you can have the main screen daytime 4K channel and the picture in picture in thermal, but you also have the option to have 4K and 4K in the picture in picture, and the same as thermal in the main picture and thermal in the picture in picture. As with all the latest thermal scopes, monoculars, binoculars, these both connect to the Stream Vision 2 app and that's available on iOS or Android. Built into the duos you have 16 gigabytes of photo or video that is more than enough you're gonna have maybe a couple of thousand pictures um, and plenty of video so this will sort of keep you amused uh, to post into your social media um, without having to delete video or everything. Um, along with the Wi-Fi uh, in these scopes, Pulsar originally used the 2.4 gigahertz, but now it gives you an option of using 5 gigahertz. This gives you a wider bandwidth, um, which is more stable, and also it allows you to download your footage quicker or your pictures to the Stream Vision app. So that's sort of you know a real sort of added bonus. The other thing that I quite like that they've adapted from the Thermion XP50 LRF Pro is the ambidextrous focusing. So you've got focus wheel on the both uh, left hand and the right hand side. It's much better than having to reach forward um, and use the sort of the big uh, the ring on the front of the lens, which you had to use on the original Thermions. A lot of people are worried because you've got two channels in this scope. But there's nothing to worry about, they're really easy to zero. Because once you zero your thermal channel, it will then ask you if you want to zero your daytime channel as well. Yes, it may take you an extra two or three rounds, but that's not the end of the world. So that's the specs from the Pulsar Thermion Duo DXP50 and the DXP55. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.